What's going on guys, so in this video we are going to be in Unreal Engine 4.26 once again, but this time around what we're going to do is actually create a template for your green screen footage. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this because to do it in real life you would have to grab a camera, uh, hop on the back of your car, and record you know, the car moving to use as a background plate for your green screen. But you can do that in Unreal Engine 4.26. Now I'm telling you right now, this is pretty messy. This is just something that I kind of was toying around with today. So the theory is easy. You just slap a camera on a moving car in Unreal Engine 4 and it's good to go. But unfortunately, it's a little bit more complicated than that. So this is kind of like a Frankenstein way on how to do this. And I'm doing it all with free assets. This map right here is the city environment pack you can get from the marketplace. And what I'm going to use is actually an engine content as well that's built in Unreal Engine 4. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and load this map up. And then what we're going to do is add a content, a vehicle content in this project. So to do that, we're going to go to add import, add feature or content pack. And we're going to be using the vehicle one. Where is it? Uh, right here. I'm going to use advanced vehicle. And then we're going to click add to project. Now that's going to add this content in your project, which is pretty cool. So let's wait for it. I'm going to go ahead and close it. And then what we're going to do is find that blueprint and it's actually right here. And let me go ahead and drag and drop that to our scene. So there you go. Let me move this camera and make it slower again. Um, right there. So you have that car right there. You have two cameras on that car. So that's good. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually change the game mode because if we press play right now, nothing's going to happen. So if we go to world settings, I'm going to go right here, game mode. I'm going to change it to vehicle advanced game mode by importing this content here we just unlock this right here so press this okay and then the next thing we're going to do is click on the vehicle itself we're going to go to the details and then what we're going to do right here auto possess player we're going to do zero and now when we press play there you go now we can drive the scar with wasd and it's everything everything is good to go now granted i have the quality at really low because this map let me go ahead and turn it up this map oh what did i just do this map is massive and you can kind of see how huge this freaking asset is that's why my fps is hurting pretty bad right now we're at 40 frames per second so it's pretty terrible so what we're gonna do is go for that look for that car again so we're gonna go vehicle blueprint and let's go ahead and look for it in the map it's right here okay so and it does look a little bit bright here look at that i'm killing my fps so it is a little bit too bright so what i'm going to do is turn down that uh exposure so post process and we're going to go to exposure i'm going to change this to manual and then check check this tick box exposure compensation and let's just do like nine and that looks pretty good right so I'm going to go ahead and play just to make sure that it's still in there. Okay, so that looks good. We have that. And when we press tab, that actually switches the camera back and forth. Because as you saw earlier, we have two cameras in Unreal Engine 4. So in that blueprint, I mean. So let's go ahead and uh, do the next step, which is adding a camera in the blueprint so that we can record it. Now, these two cameras right here are regular cameras. And the way that I found out... The way I got this to work was actually just creating a cinema camera actor in this blueprint. Okay, so click on the actual car. We're going to go to the world, world outliner. We're going to click edit vehicle blueprint. All right, and it's going to be pretty nasty here. So I was pretty much just in here just messing around. Uh, what you're going to do is actually create a new component. So I go to add and I'm going to do camera and we're going to do a cinema camera. And then I'm going to go ahead and parent that to the scene. I'm going to go ahead and compile and I'm going to save. And then see if that does anything. I'm going to go ahead and press play. And it takes a while. Okay, so I'm going to press tab now. There you go. Now we have another camera in there. But it's the actual cinema camera that we imported. So that's good. Um, let's go back to our setting here. And what I'm going to do is edit the vehicle blueprint again. And I'm going to go to viewport. Um, I'm going to change the camera speed. It's too fast. What we want is for the view that we are trying to go for. We actually want it on the left side. Because that's where we want the footage to record at. 
kind of like if you're driving and the camera is on the side of the car. And what I'm going to do is just push this towards the edge so we don't see any of that car. And that looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do is change this to, let's do a full frame. So, all right, we'll do a full frame DSLR and we're going to change it to 35. So that's good. Compile and save. And then let's go ahead and go back and press play. All right, so if I press tab, now we have that camera on the side. So if I drive like this, I'm going to switch tab. You see it on the side and you can probably know where this is going now, right? So let's go ahead and exit out of that. So the next part is how do you record that? Now this was, now this is what took me a little bit to figure out. So what you're going to do is actually open up your uh, sequence recorder. And in the sequence recorder, I'm going to go ahead and put that right here. And I'm going to go ahead and add that car, the vehicle blueprint. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can kind of see. And then if you scroll down, all the way down, you're going to see this thing called, see here, classes and properties to record. All right, I'm going to go ahead and twirl that down. And then we're going to go to zero. And we're going to change this class from skeletal mesh to cinema camera component. All right. And then the next thing we're going to do is press record. And then it's going to count down. I'm going to press play. Now, theoretically, what this is going to do is going to record the car as we drive it around town. So I'm going to go ahead and drive the car. I don't have to change the camera because the camera is in the blueprint. So I'm going to go ahead and just drive around, drive around, drive around. I think that's a bike lane. What am I doing in the bike lane? So I'm going to drive around, you know, just getting some plates. And, you know, I actually want the, the trees and stuff instead. So I'm going to go the other way because that's prettier. I'm going to kind of drive slow here. And you can use your controller with this. Like if you have like a gamepad controller, which is really cool. And what's more exciting about this method is if you have the LED screens or projector screen, you can actually real time capture the plate. And let's say you have an actor and you're telling them to crash, you can just crash the car like, hey, crash the car. Okay, oh man, it's crashing. And that's pretty much it. So the, the possibilities of this here is much more than I'm showing you is what I'm trying to say. So with that being said, um, it recorded the sequence for us. So if you go to content browser and I'm going to go ahead and go to cinematics sequences recorded sequence I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and pop that open and I'm going to go ahead and dock that here go to, I'm going to go to misc and you're going to see right here you see that now it's recorded the side of that car and I know my FPS is dropping because like I said this uh, this environment is massive and as you can see right here we're going to turn around and this is the side view all right, so I'm going to turn around right here, like I said, because I wanted to see the grass and the trees. So that's pretty awesome. Now you have a plate that you can use for your cars and whatever project you have in Unreal Engine 4 without having to go out and, you know, recording in a car. And next thing you want to do is obviously just go ahead and export this, render this movie into a AVI or JPEG or EXR or PNG you know, with the same frame rate as your video and then just composite it in DaVinci Resolve or After Effects. All right, guys, so if you learned something new today, make sure to like this video and subscribe so I know you guys are actually interested in Unreal Engine 4 videos.